<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your host, Richard Prophet, the last dragon. And welcome, welcome back to the Prophet Rolex and Real Estate channel. And it is 4th of July weekend, 4th of July weekend in America, man. Happy in the Independence Day weekend to the whole USA. Happy, happy, happy 4th of July weekend to the whole world because with America's independence uh, comes independence for a lot of other countries, a lot of other nations. So I invite you, whether you're from across the pond, wherever you're from, come celebrate with us in America, celebrate our independence. Happy in this Independence Day weekend, USA, good old US of A. And tonight, we got a new we got a new watch. I got a new watch. So let's roll the best intro, bar none, the best intro on YouTube. And we'll get into it. <laughs> Cheers, fam. <laughs> Uh, this is my favorite part of the intro. All right, welcome, welcome back to the Profit Rolex and Real Estate Channel. Uh, it's Fourth of July, Fourth of July, Fourth of July weekend in America. Uh, so a lot of people are barbecuing. You're gonna enjoy the fireworks. You out with your family, time, you know, family, friends. Uh, yeah, and it's just a good time. It's a good time all over America. You out having burgers, drinking a cold one, you know, whatever. Cheers, cheers, cheers to you, fam. All right. Tonight's video, I got a new watch. I got a new watch. Profit, what is it? Well, you know, it's going to be a Rolex, right? Because I'm the last dragon, so it's going to be a Rolex. Now, this watch is a, it's a doozy, man. It's a doozy. Let, let me let me throw out a little hint. Chronograph. All right. So check it. Um, I'm this is not gonna be really a review. I'm just gonna do like a quick little unboxing. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna go into how I got it because it 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 it, 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 it it's a crazy story how I got it, and that and that's a whole nother video. That's at least a 45 hour long video. So I'm gonna save that for a whole nother video. Tonight I'm just going to unbox the watch and uh, show you show you the beauty of this watch. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, this is the it's the most beautiful watch I've ever seen. Now, <clears throat> let me just say it's a plain watch, it's not a bejeweled watch. Uh, it's just a plain watch. But you know, no diamonds, no emeralds, no rubies, but it's just, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Like it's a stunning watch. Like you don't know that until you see it in real life, like in the wild, up close, it is stunning. As a matter of fact, this watch is kind of intimidating. I'm gonna tell you a story. I've only seen this watch in real life two times, two times out in the wild. Uh, and, and I never forgot it, I never forgot them. So, one time was years, many, many years ago. Uh, I was, I was, I was early 20s, early 20s. Uh, and I had, I had rotated back to the world um, and I was in Miami. This is when I just started, first started going to Miami. Actually, it was uh, Sunny Isles. I would stay in a hotel in Sunny Isles, um, which later on, actually, the manager of that hotel became a buddy of mine, uh, and we're buddies to this day. And uh, I, I actually, I, I stay there often. Um, uh, when I want to be on the beach because it's right on the beach. So anyway, I'm in this hotel, this particular hotel, 
and I'm in the elevator and I got a I got a fake I got my fake Rolex on, right? Because when I was a young man, I wore fake Rolexes uh, for years, right? Uh, I was in the club scene, you know, my fake Rolex. You know, I was the man. Um, always loved Rolex. Always, always loved Rolex. But who had money for a real Rolex, right? So I'm in the uh, I'm in the elevator. I'm in the elevator. My fake Rolex on, and I'm like this. And uh, a guy comes in, and he's with his little daughter. And he comes in, and he comes in with this watch. He's wearing like the apex predator of watches. I'm like, the watch is stunning. When I saw that watch, I was like taken aback. I was, you know, it's kind of frightening. It's kind of frightening. When you see it in real life, I'm telling you, it it brings a chill over you. When, in, when you're in the room and this watch, I'm, it might sound funny, but I'm telling you, if you've ever experienced this watch for yourself. Um, so anyway, he comes in with the watch and I'm like, and I see the watch and I got my fake watch on my wrist and I'm, I kind of put my watch down and I back up a little and I'm just, you know, not too close to him. And I just can't take my eyes off the watch because the dial is actually stunning. And uh, yeah, so anyway, years go by. And I, uh, years go by, I, I don't, I don't give the watch another thought, nothing, right? It's out of my head, it's out of my head. Actually, this is the watch, this is the one watch in the Rolex range that if you've never, if you've never seen it, if you've never seen it in person, in real life, in the wild, you say it's ugly. I, I don't know. Uh, for some reason, on the internet or in books or whatever, the st stunning, raw beauty of this watch doesn't translate onto the internet or it, it doesn't translate onto a magazine or in a catalog or whatever. You have to see it in physical form to be awed by this watch. Uh, I'm t if you're not if you're not really you know like that for real, uh, uh, you could be a little intimidated by this watch when you was to see it in real life. So fast forward many 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 years later, right? I'm in Costco. Actually, this was recently. This was about a month ago, maybe two months ago, maybe a month and a half ago. I'm in Costco. And, uh, you know, uh, Costco, all these Costco's are set up no matter what state you are. They're all set up the same uh, where, the, where the little eating area is. And then they have like the little picnic tables for you to sit down. So I get my little hot dog and a soda and I'm walking to the picnic tables. And there's this guy with his back toward, you know, where I'm coming down the lane. And I'm OK. And he's got like a Navy, Navy, Navy jacket on, like sport jacket on. And his back is toward me. And I notice like the table next to him, nobody's sitting there. And the table behind him, nobody's sitting there. So he's kind of like all by himself and all the time. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I guess I'm going to sit there. So I go, but I don't sit with my back toward that. I sit this way. So I'm, I, I'm, I can actually look. At, so I'm actually facing him, right? But on this side. So when I'm coming by... I glance, you know, I'm walking by, I see him, I glance at his wrist. Because ever since I was a kid, I was, when I was a young man, when I was a young kid, teenager, I was into sneakers, right? So whenever I would meet somebody, I would look at their sneakers, right? Uh, I did that for many years because I was into sneakers. So now I'm into Rolex, right? So whenever, whenever, you know, I'm walking by, whatever, I see a guy's wearing a watch on, you know, I want to look, I want to see what the watch is, right? See if I can, you know, see if I can identify it. 
or whatever, or see if it's a cool piece or whatever. And I might throw them a compliment. Hey, nice watch. Hey, nice, you know, Daytona, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so I look at this watch and instantly I know what it is. And I'm like, this is, again, this is a watch that if you don't see in the wild, if you don't see in real life, you don't appreciate it for some reason. Like the beauty of the landlord watch, right? Let's take the landlord watch in solid gold. You put it on a catalog. You put it on a video. You put it on the internet. You know the guy on the other side of that camera, the guy on the other side of that magazine knows that that is a fantastically beautiful watch. Right? You know that. But this watch, it doesn't translate from the internet to the reality, the beauty, just on the internet, it looks like a watch that you don't want, right? Until you see it in real, this is a watch that no one gives a second thought to. The only people that think twice about these watch are owners of this watch, you know? Those, those, those of us who have actually said, this watch is fantastic, I must own it, I must possess it, right? So. I was never one of those. I was in the camp of, oh, that watch is ugly, and never get it, never gave it a second thought. And then I've got a buddy that that has one, and uh, he's got an all steel one, and he was like, yo, this watch is fantastic, profit. You, you know, you know, this watch is fantastic. It's super underrated. This watch is fantastic. I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. Again, that's because the aesthetic beauty of this watch does not translate for some reason this watch does not translate into it doesn't translate from real life onto the internet okay there you go so anyway so i walk by that glass and i see this 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 thing on this guy wrist this and and i'm looking at the watch and i and i'm just like that watch is the apex predator of the watch world. It is, it is, it is the top. It is the monster. It is, people, you know, no one is around because they might be afraid to approach him. It's like the T-Rex of the watch game. I'm like, wow. So instead of, because I normally never sit with my back to the door. Um, you know, that's a whole nother thing those out there that know know but anyway so i would have normally sat with my back to him right but this watch was so captivating it had me it it you know it grabbed me by the cuff by both hands and it, it i'm telling you this watch is the apex predator of the watch world so it uh, pulled me in and i'm like oh i had to sit down and i was just like i I was trying to eat my hot dog, drink my little lemonade, whatever, but I was in awe of this watch. I was in awe of this watch. I, it, it, it was amazing. Um, yeah, so that's the only two times I've ever seen this watch. And after that last time, I was like, I got to have it. I got to have it. I gotta have this watch. This is the apex predator of the watch world, you know, and I'm the dragon, I, you know, I need this watch. This is a watch that I need. So, I got ADs in New York. I got ADs in, my, in Florida, Miami. Uh, Jacksonville too, a couple places I'm connecting in Florida. Um, and I got my buddy, the ghost, right? So I made all my phone calls, all my phone calls. I need this watch. I need this watch. I need this watch. I must have this watch, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll see. Okay. I called up the ghost. Yo, if they offer you this, please, I need this watch. Forget about whatever else I asked you for. Forget about the John Mayer. Forget about anything. I want this watch. Okay. Yeah, Prof. I'll let you know. All right. Bye. Boom. Uh, nobody, no AD calls me, no nothing. The, the ghost don't call me, whatever. All right, cool. 
uh, about a month and a half later, after I'm lusting for this watch, so I, I go on YouTube, I look at any 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 videos, any reviews about this watch, and there's not many out there, man. There's not many out. Like you type in a review for Daytona, you get a million hits. You type in, you know, the landlord watch, uh, you get a million hits. You you type in whatever, even it, it, a date just, you're gonna get a million hits. But you type in this watch, there's not that many reviews out there. There's not because again, this is a watch you don't give it a second thought until you see it in the wild, and then it grabs you, man. <sighs> It's like you're walking through the forest and you get hit with a bear club and you, a bear claw. You can't get away. You can't get away. And then you just pray. It's over. You, it's, it's over. This watch, uh, for anybody that can, for anybody that has the, the financial wherewithal uh, to possess this watch, uh, either you already own it discreetly, whether you already own it or 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 take it from me, man. Get it, get it. If you get offered it, don't say, don't say, you know, just to ob no, you know, over the phone. Go in, look at this watch, touch it, look at the dial. This watch is phenomenal. This, I'm telling you, man. I've held. A lot of watches. I've owned a lot of watches. I've had probably every single modern uh, Rolex, uh, save for the Daytona. But I've had, I've held the Daytona, like two tone, and I'm telling you, the, compared to this watch, a Daytona is 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 a watch for a kid. Now, ah, Puffy, you're crazy. The, the, the Daytona's a boy's watch. It, it's your wife's watch. It, it compared to this watch, and again, I'm not talking about the rainbow. I'm not. I'm talking about plain Jane, straight, even two tone, whatever. Even I'm telling you, this watch is the top of the heap. It's the king of the jungle. It's the apex predator of the jungle. This watch is it. It's everything. Now that I got this watch, I'll be honest with you. I'm not gonna. I'm not even buying any more watches for a long time. Uh, you know, it's done for me for a while. This watch was. I give you a little hint already. Chronograph, right? Now, I'm gonna give you another little hit. gold bullion baby yeah so this is uh it's a it's a gold watch it's a solid gold watch um and it's a beast man it's a beast it it it, it, it it's a beast a lot of people have been guessing they've been commenting tell me profit i think you got this profit i think you got that um i did a video on cookie got a new rolex so that took up a lot of my time so i haven't really been putting polls out there, guess what I got, guess what my new watch is, but I'm just going to show it to you tonight, and then uh, on uh, weeks to come, we'll do reviews, we'll do this and that, but tonight, I'm just going to unbox it and show you, and show you what this beast is, what this animal is, what this 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 watch eater, this watch, here's, an, here's another story, right, so, so that's two times I saw the watch in the wild, okay, now, I'm wearing the watch. I'm going to see my daughter and uh, I'm going to see my granddaughter actually. And uh, so I'm picking up lunch for everybody. So I'm at a, uh, she lives in Jersey. So I'm at a PK, PF Chang's or whatever by her house. Um, and there's a little takeout area, right? So I ordered the food over the phone and I'm coming in to pick it up. And I come in and whatever and, and I got the apex predator on my wrist and uh, and I walk in and I walk in and again you know there's a few other people there's a there's a girl she has a kid there's a guy there's a guy there and there's another guy there uh so I walk in and again like I said I look I look at your wrist if you're wearing a watch I want to see what kind of watch you got so uh I walk in and this dude 
Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, the, the, the guy actually has a gold Daytona on, right? He has a gold Daytona. I see it from far away. You, you know, you, if you know what you're looking at, you know what it is. So as I'm walking in, oh, he got a gold Daytona. And I'm walking in. As I come in the door, gold Daytona. And I'm standing there and I'm just, you know, I'm on my phone or whatever. I'm like, it's gold Daytona. I was actually going to snap a picture of his watch, right? But, you know, you like... F so I look up and he's like looking at my watch. He's looking at my watch. And he goes... Like one of these numbers, he's like, and then he looks up, he catches me looking and he goes, and then he looks down like at the watch, like he can't get his eyes off it. He can't, get, he's got a gold Daytona on his wrist, uh, black dial. He's got a gold Daytona on his wrist. He can't get his eyes off it. And he like, he puts his arms, yo, he's got a gold Daytona on his wrist, gold Rolex Daytona. He puts his arm down and he like, he starts moving to, I'm on the right, and he starts moving to the left. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm telling you, and I'm looking at the watch, and, and my arms are like this, and I'm looking at his watch, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, this watch will eat his watch. I'll eat his watch. You know what I mean? I, I, I could put, I'll eat his, I'll swallow his watch. It's crazy. This watch is the apex predator of the watch world. I'm telling you, man. And not only that, not only is it a monster, but it, 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 it's beautiful. It's strong and it's beautiful at the same time, like America. Oh, man, this, this watch is fantastic. All right. Without further ado, we're going to get into it. So, I don't know if it's coming coming through the camera but i'm in love with the watch i'm in love with the watch i don't know if you could tell yet but i'm in love with the watch so here we go uh i want to shout out real quick to ken kenra ken kenra he's a new new part of our family welcome 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 ken kenra hope i didn't hope that I, that was all right with the pronunciation there all right welcome welcome brother welcome all right so i told him to join us tonight and he's here tonight so welcome my friend so, all right, so this AD, this none of my ADs called me back. None of my ADs called me back. Uh, I got these watches <coughs> from a brand new AD that I only been in there twice. One time was to meet him, the second time was to pick up this the Predator, the Apex Predator. Um, and coincidentally, this is the guy with the super you know, with the Rolex Super VIP, with the VIP Super Room, uh, which I made a video about. I'll include it at the end here if you want to check it out. So anyway, yeah, so I got a gift. The first time ever, I got a Rolex gift. I got this. Show you what this is real quick. Got the Rolex logo on there. It's actually uh, like a little Swiss army knife. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Little knife. It's got uh, like little scissors, a couple of things. So it's, uh, it's like a little Swiss not army knife, little novelty item. He said, Prophet, I don't want to see this on eBay. <laughs> don't worry about it, brother, I got you. So the AD is not the manager or salesman, whatever the AD uh, who's now my friend is actually the owner of the AD. So I, I am now plugged in with the owner. He, he's my friend though. I, the way he showed me and Cookie so much love. Uh, Cookie got a new Rolex. Uh, I'll leave that at the end of this video too. You can check that out. He showed us so love, man. So much love, man. I don't consider him my AD. I consider him my friend now. So yeah, I'm going to take him some nice, uh, Cubans when I go back there, uh, after the holiday. But anyway, uh, if you're watching, uh, happy fourth to you and your family. Uh, thank you for all, thank you for all the love you've shown me and Cookie. Thank you very much. Happy fourth of July to you and your family. All right, so that's a little gift I got. First time ever. Thank you again. Now, gave you the little hint, Chrono. Give you another little hint. Solid gold. All right, so we know it's a solid gold chronograph. 
But Prophet, you just you just said you ate the Daytona. What could it be? Okay, here we go. Here we go. The big box. The big box. Course the crown. Mm. The big box. Mm. There's been a lot of unboxings on this channel. But I don't think I've been as excited ever to unbox this. I, I feel like, hold on, I got to pull up my sleeves because I, I got to get ready because I feel like I'm about to unleash a wild beast. So, it's the big box. Not the huge box, that's the jewelry box, but it's the biggest single box. The crown, baby, the wave. Rolex is the wave, man, Rolex is the wave. <laughs> All right, you know what? Without any further ado, let me introduce you to the biggest, baddest, heaviest, most expensive gold piece in the Rolex lineup, the Chunky Monkey, Double Bubble, the apex predator of the watch world. Uh, <coughs> oh man, almost choked me out. Look at that baby. Look at that beast. The Rolex Yacht Master II in solid gold. Look at that beautiful thing. Look at that monster. Look at this. Look at this. A gold Daytona can't be in the same room as this. This watch will eat it. This watch will put salt and pepper on a gold Daytona and swallow it whole. Look at this beast. Look at this beast. It, it, not only is it a monster, but look at how pretty, I don't know if the camera's capturing this, but look at how pretty the dial is, you know, I've seen this on YouTube before, I've seen it in magazines before, but until I saw it in real life, in the wild, in the jungle, I never saw, never noticed how, just how pretty the dial was, man. The dial is just so pretty. Now, let's go over this watch. So, it's on an oyster bracelet, right? But, damn, I should have I brought out another watch to compare. Like, the oyster bracelet, the links aren't the size, like, let's say, of the Landlord watch uh, links. These links are bigger. And I thought it was just like, uh, like my eyes playing tricks on me. But when I called Rolex... And I asked them, they said, yes, 
the links are bigger to accommodate the bigger head of the watch. And I'm like, I knew it. This bracelet is bigger. This is the biggest oyster bracelet available by Rolex. The monster. This watch is a mon this is a man's watch. Make no mistake. This is a man's watch. There's no there's no this is not a unisex watch. This is not, you know, your wife's watch. This is a man's watch. A man's man's watch. You understand what I'm saying? This is a man's man's watch. This is probably the most manly watch you're ever going to see in your life. Not only are the links the biggest, baddest mothers in uh, this watch. The head is incredible, man. I mean, look at the pushers. Look at the pushers. Look at the pushers. I'm going to do a review of this watch at another time. I just wanted to show you the Apex Predator. I just, I, you know, I just wanted to take it out. I just wanted to whip it out and show you the Apex Predator of the watch world. Man, you know, before I held this watch in my hand, you know, when I saw it at the Costco, I knew that it was a beast. It reminded me of the first time I saw it in real life, and I and I became a little intimidated. I'm telling you, uh, and I felt that same. I felt the guy with the gold Daytona in the Peter Changs get intimidated by this watch. I felt he was intimidated. He tried to hide his little dainty gold Daytona from the apex predator. It could, this is like a mythical creature. You're not. It's like a dragon. You're not going to see it much in the wild. But when you do see it, you're never going to forget it. I'm telling you. From the bigger links to the big head to the super pronounced pushers to the super shine of the bracelet. To the sport clasp. It doesn't have a glide like clasp. It has the easy link, which is all right. Uh, to the dial, man. This dial is just so beautiful. This dial is just it. It, it just it, it's just amazing, man. It. I didn't even know that the dial is red, white, and blue. Did you know that? It's red, white, and blue. The colors of our great country. It's red, white, and blue. So the dye of the background is white, right? It's red, white, and blue and gold, excuse me. So the background is white. And then it's got blue in it. And then it's got accents of red. And then it's got the gold subseconds. Jesus Christ, man. This dial is so beautiful. Man, I wish... I don't know if this is translating over, man, but this dial is just... There we go. It's just... It's just... This is probably... Forget, forget the manliness of the watch. The just, 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 just the apexness of it. I don't even know if that's the word, but just the, just the, you know, just the top of everything, of it, of any other watch. It's just pretty. It, it's pretty. Like when I look at the dial, I'll be honest. I fall, I fall, in love with Rolex all over again, man. This, this. That's what Rolex, that, you know, this is what Rolex truly means, man. Uh, you know, a luxury watch.
with a beautiful face that just stands out. It stands out from everything else. There's no copying this. You can't, I don't care what you try to do. You're not, this is just, it, 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 it's so beautiful, man. Go out, go out, go out. Ask anybody you know, somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that has this watch. Or ask your AD, please show me an exhibition model of this watch. These watches aren't even in exhibition models. You can see any other watch exhibition model, but you can't see this. This watch is like a mythical creature. And until you would experience it for yourself in real life, man, you can't... You, it's got the red, it's got the red triangle, the blue, the white, the red, man. I know I'm going on and on about this watch, man, but I'm telling you. This is the aesthetically most beautiful Rolex on the planet, man. Plain Jane, plain Jane, plain Jane. No rubies, no diamonds, no nothing. This watch is phenomenal, man. Now, let's move off the beauty for a second. It is a monster, it is a monster. It is a, mo it's a watch for a man. For man's man. This is a grown man's watch. This is not a unisex watch. This is not a lady's watch. I'm sorry, my ladies. This is not a lady's watch. This is a man's man's watch. And this ain't for, you know, a soy boy. This ain't for no dainty character. This is a man's man's watch. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oof. That has to be the best watch roll ever. That has to be the best watch roll ever. Oof. Oof. This watch looks better on the wrist. <laughs> it's prettier. When you put it on the wrist, man, oh man, this is a watch for all occasions. It's meant for the water, right? So you can take it in the water, you can take it on the beach, you can take it out when you're on the yacht, you know. Oof. Look at this watch. Look, look how it fits my wrist. It's not a dainty little watch and you feel it on your wrist. It's not no 100 gram watch. This is a man's man watch. This is the real, this is the real deal. This is, this is, man, I forgot this little speaker. This watch got me just so excited, man, that, look, this is your favorite watch, YouTuber's favorite watch. You, he's never even seen this watch in real life. I mean, no other watch, no other Rolex YouTuber has this piece. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, whether you're a gray market dealer, right? No, I, because you're just going to flip the watch, right? You're not going to own this bad boy. No other, point to me one other YouTuber that owns this monster, that has a collection of watches and has this bad boy. Because it's financially restrictive, right? This is the big boy. If you have the wherewithal, the financial wherewithal to add the Apex Predator to your collection, it's got the profit stamp of approval, man. This watch is not, but let me put this warning out there. Warning. This watch comes with a warning. It is not for the weak at heart. If you got high blood pressure, don't get this watch. If you have like cardiac arrhythmias, don't get this watch. This is for the monster, the apex predator in the room. You walk in the room, you going anywhere, you walk into peace and you walk in with this watch and someone else has an, 
He could be a Rolex lover. Watch guy. He has another watch on his wrist. He's going to step away from you. He's going to move away from you. And if he doesn't have a watch on his wrist, if he doesn't have a Rolex on his wrist, and he just loves watches, he's into watches, he's going to come over and want to talk to you. And, uh, and uh, you're going to catch people. You're going to catch people looking at your watch. Like, they're not going to compliment you. Like, you know, when you have a, let's say you got a stainless steel landlord on, you'll get compliments in the street. You walk around, or you got a two-tone landlord bluesy, the friendliest Rolex in the world. You'll walk around, people will start a conversation with you. Uh, they'll be like, hey, you know, hey, nice Rolex. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they'll start a conversation with you. Oh, when you got a president on, you know, for some reason, uh, that's the watch the ladies are attracted to. They love that watch. And now uh, they'll start a conversation with you. But you won't get any conversation with this watch. This is the apex predator in the room. Mm. People will be afraid to come next to you. When you're wearing this. Especially if they're wearing a watch. Especially if they're wearing another gold watch. They're going to be afraid that you are going to eat their watch. You're going to eat, eat, eat their watch, man. Look, this video has been long already. Um, you can tell how I feel about this watch, man. This isn't. This isn't a dainty watch. This isn't a light watch. This isn't a small watch. This is, this is, look, look how it pops. Look how it pop. Look how it pops. The white, the red, the blue, and the gold, man, it's, it's, it, and the big solid gold pushers. Jesus Christ. There is no prettier watch on this planet on this planet you might oh prof you know i just do me a favor if you disagree with that statement get this watch in your hand and then tell me you disagree now the steel is beautiful the two-tone is fantastic but this boy this mother right here the apex predator the biggest baddest, heaviest, most expensive Rolex in the game. Now, the Plotona, right? I thought the Plotona was probably the prettiest watch I've ever seen, right? With the, with the, with the blue, with the ice blue and the brown. The, I thought that watch was fantastic. I thought it was so pretty, like pleasing, aesthetically pleasing, but this, this, it just eats its lunch, man. I, I, you know, this is the most attractive Rolex I've ever seen. And I've, you know, I, I've, I've, I've had them all, I've seen them all. This boy right here. In gold, it's, it's the most expensive piece you can get. And it's the heaviest puppy out there. If you have the wherewithal, the financial wherewithal, and you get an opportunity to come up and grab this, put it in your collection, man. I, and I remember back before all this wildness started, uh, uh, 20, this started in 2016, so 2015 or whatever, you could get this. You could get this on the gray market at a discount. Uh, you know, so... Yeah. People weren't aware what this is, but look, I am a Rolex lover. I love the Landlord watch. Um, you know, every Rolex pretty much I love, but um, they start to become, I don't know, you know, I love Rolex, right? So I love them all, but they start to become, you start seeing them over and over again and they start beginning to all look the same. That's why they're changing the colors. They're doing this and that. But this one doesn't look like any other watch on the market. It does not look like any other Rolex. And it's just big and heavy. It will swallow any other watch out there. 
man, this is the apex predator in the room. I dare you to leave in the comments one watch that this watch wouldn't eat for breakfast. This is the this is a man's man's watch. This can be. I'm gonna tell you what, man. I mean, because the landlord watch has been burned into my psyche, it's burned into my soul. <clears throat> I always knew I was going to get it, man, but. If I would have came up on this watch first, <laughs> it would I, I would have probably been done right there. I, you know, close the watch. I wouldn't have even need the watch box. I would have had the Rolex box. Closed it. And that's it. I got the apex predator. I, who's who? Who's denying you? When you step on the scene with this watch, you're murdering everybody in the room. The only person that'll come up to you and you step on the scene is this watch. Maybe somebody wearing a rainbow, and he'll come up. He'll go, "Oh, hi, nice to see you too. Let me see it. Oh, let me see what it weighs. This watch is amazing, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This watch is intimidating." Anyway, man, that's long enough. I'm going to do another review for this watch. I'm going to do... Uh, uh, there's a guy there's, there's, there's a guy on YouTube. I, I forget, a young kid with the long hair. He did a review on this watch that was pretty good. If I find it, I'll, I'll link it here. But if not, you can search it. This watch is the apex predator of the watch community. I'm your host, Richard Prophet. It's 4th of July weekend in America. Enjoy with your families. God bless, God bless us all, and God bless America. Mm. From the last dragon. Let me just let me just add this before we go. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to leave before saying this. This watch, again, it's it, it it's it's a heavy watch. It's a big watch. It's a man's man's watch. It this watch feels like 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 somebody just took like a huge, like a long bar of gold and like, <clears throat> and just put it around your wrist and then splash the dial with, with, with red, white, and blue and accents of gold. Yeah, man. This is, <laughs> the landlord watch will always have a place in my heart, but this is, my new favorite watch and you're not gonna you're not gonna see it much in the wild this is a mythical creature you heard about it but you know you know somebody who knows somebody whose cousin saw it in real life before all right so that's it i'm out of here for sure now i'm your host richard prophet this is the prophet rolex and real estate channel and uh shout out again king canra shout out to you ken ken uh ken canra shout out to you again all right everybody enjoy your fourth Mm-hmm. <laughs>